What's going on everyone? Today is September 27th, 2023. It is Wednesday and here is your midweek market review. A couple things to note before we get into it. This week on Sunday, we are doing our live launch call for the community. It is open to anyone and everyone. So please remind anyone and everyone, including yourself, that next this Sunday, excuse me, this Sunday, we will be uh, doing a live call. Please try your best to make it. Um, it means a lot to myself and Henry. We've put a bunch of work into uh, you know, create this stuff for you, and we really want it to um, thrive and be the best that it can. So please, please, please remember to join the call if you can. If not, there will be a recording like usual. Other than that, let us know in the comments, both in the forum, and then also on YouTube if you can, how our quality is, both myself and Henry, if there's anything that we might need to tweak to help your engagement with these videos as you learn. We definitely would like to cater to that. Um, other than that, that's about it for me with regards to notes to think about. Um, please, please, please keep supporting us. We uh, we cannot thank you guys enough. We would not be able to build this or want to build this if it wasn't for you guys. So please, please, please continue um, to, to just trust us in this process and know that we uh, everything we do is towards you. Uh, other than that, let's get into some charts. All right. DXY, Henry is screen shared. Yep, you're good. Okay, all right, so monthly. Please note that it is two days until monthly closure, so that's something to think about, right? Always the highest time frame possible. Keep an eye on that throughout the months and know what, what that looks like when these months roll over, just like you would on these hourly rollovers, right? The rollover of candles is important. Open highs, lows, and closes is one of the most important parts of the game. Um, so a couple things to note on the monthly, we are, there's a weekly breaker, you'll see it here when I go in on the weekly, but we are close in and around that weekly breaker high. So one thing I'm noting is on the weekly, do we close above this high on the monthly, but then also obviously on the monthly we have this SIBI right here, from this low to this high, and we are now obviously well above that. So I'm curious to see if we close above that, um, above or below, before the month is over. Note that we are also near equilibrium right in between this high and this low we're near that equilibrium inside that city so i'm curious to see how price reacts around there but the way price closes this month is going to give us a good narrative of what to expect in the uh the month of october if you go into the weekly this is obviously the breaker that i'm using right you have a high a low we take out the high this place at the low so with that being said we also obviously clearly have Buy side being or sell side being taken right here. Excuse me. For the most part, we are now above the consequent encroachment or mean threshold. Excuse me of this breaker. A couple things to note: if we do go lower, do we go lower just to fill and give an immediate rebalance to this daily high? Right. I'd be watching this daily high, this daily high, and even this daily high, but seeing where we potentially retrace and how we respect with regards to closure above the top 50% of this overall breaker. Because then, if we continue to stay bullish, we could make a run for at least that equilibrium, but then also buy side liquidity sitting at 108, right? Which would be this right here, right? This is where your buy side liquidity swing point would rest. So understanding the candle closure with any regard going lower is going to be key to understand if we could potentially make a run to uh, a little over 108. Now, with regards to if price does decide to go lower, I would be looking to see, one, if it closes below this candle, and if we do close below that candle and below the mean threshold of this breaker, when we pull back up, how do we respond being inside this candle and inside and around the mean threshold of that candle, right? Are we able to continuously go lower or just the lower half of these lows and this breaker, or do we actually rebound pretty nicely and it's just a deeper retracement and when we do get back above, respect it, right, and continue to go higher, right? That's some that's something to potentially think about too. Just because you get one daily candle closure below this candle doesn't necessarily mean a whole lot, right? You're already take, you've already taken buy side here, so it might just need a deeper retracement. We are getting a little overextended, so don't take one specific down down closure candle as the end all be all for your bias, right? You still need to have other things, and that could be the 50% of this wick. It could be the 50% of this wick. It could just be the identity of making sure that when you study this breaker, and this is where most of my focus is on dollar, is this breaker right here, how are we responding on both halves, right? Down here, 
and up here. How are we responding on both halves with regards to closure, right? When price comes down here, does it come back up and get back above and then start to be a little bit more sensitive? Or when it does close below, is it pretty sensitive for lower pricing? Does it decide to go lower? Those are things that I'm watching on lower time frames to potentially help me guide uh, my uh, directional positioning in ES. On the daily, kind of same thing here, right? I posted something earlier in the forum, but uh, this week saying how we might have had a high, but I wasn't quite sure about it. And it was this candle right here. And you can see we weren't quite done. And I put that in the forum post that we might have not made that high quite yet. And we clearly obviously have it, right? And so we're reaching that point where it's not going to just keep going guns blazing higher. And if it does, so be it. I am bullish on it. But if it has some form of retracement, when it does retrace, right, how can I find that high in here as soon as possible? So when I do go to fib up certain price swings, um, sorry, I've got it. Uh, when I do go to fib up certain price swings, I can start to find that discount in equilibrium. Right, that's the game that we're in on dollar right now. Waiting to see if it can potentially form a daily swing point, and then from there, where did the where did the weekly close, and how can that correspond into next week and next month? That's basically it for me. Um, Please let me know if there's anything else that you guys want to start covering on these midweek uh, reviews. We want to cater to as many people as possible. And if you would like our eyesight and opinions on things that we might not trade, but you still want to see what we think uh, the liquidity looks like, uh, feel free to mention that in the comments, right? And, and we, de we definitely will look at those and, and see what we can help you with. Other than that, that's about all it on dollar, gun to my head. We continue going higher, but I would like to see a high form and know what that retracement looks like with regards to the daily and weekly and now potentially monthly closure. Other than that, Henry, you're good to go. All right. So we'll just take a quick look at ES going into the remainder of the week. Starting here on the monthly chart, uh, you can see this is the monthly BISI that we've been monitoring between this candle's high and this candle's low. The inefficiency between those two candles, marking out the high, the midpoint, and the low. And you see that uh, this week we actually did reach into the low of the monthly BISI. Currently, we have a, the candle below the low here, but we'll see how the monthly candle closes in just a couple of days. If we do get closure below here, then you can potentially look to this level as a, um, an area of inversion to continue trading lower. I like this old inefficiency on the monthly year. You can see it's traded through multiple times here, but nicely respected. And this could be an area that we reclaim if price does continue lower down here, um, which I am uh, expecting as of now for price to continue lower. I'll hop into the weekly chart here. Just looking at a couple of the areas that we were talking about on uh, on Sunday's call to deliver into, we were looking for south side under this previous weekly's candles low. It's a little bit clearer on the daily, so I'll point that out when we get down there. This inefficiency here on the weekly, volume imbalance as well. And now as we continue to look lower uh, and continue to expect lower prices, we have this order, order block down here, the two consecutive down close candles here taking the opening price and dragging it out. You can see it was nicely respected here. And that could be serve as another area uh, to draw back into. Here's that monthly volume imbalance that we saw from back here. And let's see, that is just about it for the weekly chart. I'll drop down into the daily now. There was that sell side we were talking about, that swing low on the daily. And now just as we look lower, you can see these targets have been delivered, sell side dropping down now into the daily BISI and the weekly BISI. Here, that little daily volume imbalance as well, where we reached into on Tuesday's action and then again today. And now just as we continue looking for lower prices, we'll have sell side under today's low right here. We'll have the order block. Also this old inefficiency on the daily. We drag that out, you can see how it was utilized here. And we could trade back to there again as we continue to lower prices. You'll note here too, we have a swing low. So a sell side is resting here just above and just inside this old inefficiency. So I like this as an area to draw to 
if we do continue to price lower. Um, I am going to continue expecting lower prices unless we get closure above this up candle right here above the consequent encroachment of this wick. So you can take the fib tool, put your fib on there. I'll remove this a second for clarity. So putting the fib on the wick there, finding the midpoint, and you'll see that it's aligned pretty much with the high of this weekly imbalance right here, All right? So on a closing basis on the daily chart, I won't want to see a closure above that. If we do start to get that, then you could potentially look at a retracement back up into some of these old efficiencies. As long as we stay heavy and remain below the consequent encroachment on a closure basis, I'll continue looking for sell side and lower prices down here. That's pretty much it for me on ES. Carson, any last thoughts here? Nope, I'm good. Yeah, the only thing I would say on right. ES uh, on my end is, you know, look to see. I'm curious what the high and low of this these two candles are. Um, because yeah. if that there's a is, small, I, there's a small one, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Small sibby in there. So right? pay attention so to that immediate, as we go into the end of the week. It's not an immediate rebalance, which is something to note, which is why you still can get that push higher before going lower. Oh, that, that's all I had right yeah. there for ES. I'm in the same boat. Yep, and you'll see with, with dollar as well, we, as we have reached up into some higher targets, it's normal to expect a little bit of consolidation. And this doesn't have to be a straight dive down into these levels if we are going to trade here as well. So do expect that we could consolidate inside uh, this old weekly BISI a little bit, potentially reach up into some of these premium arrays like this little SIBI right here and even up into the consequent encroachment of the wick here. That's all permissible and still... Uh, could still trade lower off of that. So just keep those in mind. Um, stay safe as we go into the rest of the week. A lot of the sell side targets have been delivered already. So it's okay to sit back a little bit, shift to a little bit more of a neutral bias and gather a bit more information before um, before uh, rushing into anything, okay? All right, that's it for me. All righty, guys. I appreciate you guys. We like to keep these things short and sweet. Like I said, if there is anything else you guys want us to cover, let us know. We'd love to cover it. And then also, please, please, please continue to share and support however you can, right? Everything everything helps. Other than that, uh, trade safe for the rest of the week if you decide to trade. And I will see you guys on Sunday. See you soon. Take care, y'all.